Hey guys, welcome to another episode about SQL Light. So today I'm going to describe types. What uh, type uh, you should uh, use uh, accordingly to your situation or uh, your uh, needs. Uh, well, uh, in here you could uh, find syntax for uh, data table creation and in here we have only one field and that is ID with type of integer. Whenever you uh, type this kind of syntax, immediately after the name of a field, uh, you are going to enter data type. And in here we have an uh, integer. So what integer actually is? Integer is whole number. There is nothing special to describe about that. And now we are going to describe other field. We type real. Uh, what uh, real actually is, uh, it's a fractional uh, number. So if you uh, need uh, numbers like 25.6 or 78.98, you are going to use uh, a field with uh, real data type. And there is a third numeric uh, field, numeric type, called numeric. So when you are going to use uh, this numeric data type, whenever you are not sure about uh, what kind of uh, numeric value your field is going to contain. So uh, if uh, there is a possibility for client to uh, input uh, both integer and uh, fractional number to your field, you are going to use this numeric data type. Then text. There is nothing special to describe in here. Uh, so whenever you need uh, your field to contain only uh, text, you are going to use this data type. But keep in mind, with SQL Server and uh, MySQL, you have something like this. Uh, you have ability uh, to put some kind of limitation. What this would mean? This would mean that this uh, text field cannot contain more than 250 characters. Uh, and in SQLite, you cannot put this kind of limitation. So you are going to use a uh, text type without any kind of limitations. And at the end, Uh, blob data type is going to contain binary data. So whether you uh, want to uh, put uh, images in this field uh, or uh, sound files, video files or any other binary kind of data, you are going to use uh, this uh, blob data type. So as you can see, uh, data types uh, with SQLite are quite easy. And if uh, later on you start working with uh, SQL Server or MySQL, you are going to meet another data types that are going to uh, allow you to solve your problems uh, in uh, different ways and with much more power. So uh, this would be all for this episode. If you like this content, please subscribe and see ya.